Hey guys, welcome back to episode 59 of PG Mike 10's Let's Play series. And as you can see, I have changed up a few things since the last Let's Play I did create. And the reason for that is I actually kind of recorded a Let's Play series the other day, and I didn't know what the crap I was doing, so I'm like, hey, you know what? I'm actually going to change up how I do things, and we're going to do something a little bit different than what I had planned. So as you can see, I do have this um, actually making diamonds with the UU Matter. Let's just wait a second or two, and we should get a piece of UU Matter, and it should produce a diamond. As you can see, it's actually already made five diamonds from that process, but I don't want to do that. So um, yeah, we're actually going to do something a little bit different, and I'm hoping it's going to work out. What I'm thinking we can do is actually set this up to where instead of producing... Um, diamonds, we can produce glowstone. Now you're going, why would you want glowstone instead of diamonds? Glowstone or diamonds? Well, let's see. If glowstone is worth 1,536 EMC per glowstone, that would be 8 glowstone times 1,536, which would equal 12,288 EMC. Now, only 9 pieces of UU matter equal 8,192, but if you get 12,000 EMC, per eight pieces of glowstone and the glowstone recipe goes like so so let's go ahead and remove let's see is there anything we can chunk out of our inventory for a second yeah let me go ahead and show you guys the glowstone recipe it goes something a little bit like this and let's grab that one and so there's the glowstone recipe so we're using three less uu matter to get more emc we're getting four thousand more emc so each piece of uu matter is equivalent to 2048 per UU matter. So that means 2048 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6, that's 12,000 right there, but 24,000 because we do have 2 in this slot. So this is actually going to be worth 24,000 um, opposed to the what? 16, measly 16,000 that we would have gotten just from 2 diamonds. So here is what we're going to be doing. Let's go ahead and place a wooden pipe right here. Now, I am actually doing all of this as a part of the challenge that I did actually, um, let's see, what is the word for it, propose to Frodo2381. So, yes, we are trying to see who can get the most EU per tick by, um, we can use whatever means necessary. We can use um, whatever we want, really. We can use nuclear reactors. We can use solar panels. But the catch to it is we can't, what the heck, how's it already powered? The catch to it is that we can't actually just say, hey, I, um, I'm going to go into creative mode and make whatever crap I want. No, you can't do that. You have to do it in your Let's Play series, as I'm sure he knows, but if he doesn't actually know that yet, I'm hoping he'll watch this video and go, hey, I actually need to do that in my Let's Play series, because he has, I believe, actually started to run out of things to do in his Let's Play series, as have I, but not really, because I always have ideas to do. Um, and let's see, let's go ahead and make a... Let's see, copper upgrade for a chest. So I'm thinking what we can grab is just some wood. And let's see, two. So that's going to be a chest, I believe. Let's make two chests. And then let's grab um, eight more copper. And let's see. So there we go. And actually, I don't know exactly know what I'm going to do with these chests, but I'm sure I will use them um, here shortly because what I was thinking I was going to do with them, I don't think I'm actually going to do with them. Which is completely alright, and sorry if I confused you guys with the, um, crap, I need to make chests first. If the, if the EMC part that I just spoke confused you guys, it kind of confused me when I first thought of it, but then I'm like, hey, wait a second. If diamonds equal 9 pieces of UU and glowstone equals 7, or no, actually, how many pieces does it equal? It equals, um, 5? 6? I don't know. I think it's 6 pieces of UU. But anyways, if it equals that, then we're wasting UU matter. Why would we do such a thing? And so I kind of had that idea. I'm like, hey, you know what? Let's try this out. And I'm hoping it's going to work. What I'm planning to do is actually take our, um, let's see, what are they actually called? Um, our energy condensers. And I'm hoping what we can do is actually create some um, energy collectors. And then from there, what we'll be able to do is convert all of that stuff into the stuff that we would need in order for us to create some of our awesome um, solar panels. So I was thinking we were just going to convert UU straight into like sticky resin and all that crap because you can't actually do that. Um, but the recipes are a tad bit complicated. So as you can see, we just continue racking up the uh, glowstone, which is sweet. Let's go ahead and place the rest of our UU matter that we have into there and throw our philosopher's stone at it just because. All right, so here's what we can do. Let's go ahead and pl or place that guy down there. And as you can see, we do have five um, 
diamonds in our inventory, but we should have quite a few diamonds, if I can get out the door, quite a few diamonds from our um, energy condenser over here that we have been using with a Mark II as well as a Mark I energy collector on there. This, I believe, is a Mark I, maybe? No, this is, yeah, that was a Mark I, and this is a Mark II. As you can see, the Mark II does have one more slot, uh, or one more row of um, stuff, or actually column. I don't, don't know exactly what you'd call that, but anyways... Alright, so holy fudge cakes, we have 59 diamonds in there. What the heck? Alright, so um, we have 59 diamonds now, plus the 4 or 5 that we actually had. How many do we have? I think we had 5 in our inventory. So now that gave us 64 diamonds, and now we should be able to do a lot with that. So let's go ahead and grab a piece of dark matter, and with that dark matter, let's go ahead and toss our dirt. I really wish I could use delete mode. I think I did use it. No, I don't think I've ever used delete mode. Um, on here anyways. Alright, so let's go ahead and toss our dirt out. I did grab a new keyboard, by the way, so now that is awesome, and we shouldn't be making any more mistakes as I was, because I was making so many mistakes, it wasn't even funny. Let's go ahead and grab this guy now, and all we have to do is, I don't actually think I ever taught the, um, transmutation tablet how to, um, do what I want it to, but I believe this is the actual recipe for the energy collector, um, Mark II energy collector, that is. Let's go ahead and place our energy collector here and place a piece of dark matter on top. And as you can see, we now have our 292,000 or 232,969 EMC energy collector. And what I'm thinking is just go boom and let's go ahead and plop that guy back out. And all we have to do now is run on over back to our energy condenser that we do have set up. And we should be um, beginning to make some of our energy condensers. Now, why did I do that? Um. Well, eventually, what should happen is all of our glowstone should just pop into here, and we should be able to... Actually, let's go ahead and show it off now. So, let's see. We have eight glowstone that are about to pop out of here as soon as that piston hits, and now, as you can see, we should receive about 12,288. So, there we go. 12,288 EMC for only... Keep in mind, one, two, three, four, five, six UU matter. So, that means six UU matter is going into our energy collector at a rate of, I don't know, we're probably going to be getting a ton. You know what, I'm thinking we're going to actually have to make a few more of our mass fabs, because look at this, it's kind of going slow, let's see, 94% progress, 96% uh, progress, and 97% progress, but what does that mean? Well, it means we are not going fast enough. What I want to do is add a couple more of our... Um, a uh, mass fabs and eventually we should just be racking up stuff so let's see we have it really doesn't need all that much energy i think it needs about a hundred thousand eu um eu per tick or not actually a hundred thousand eu per tick a hundred thousand to actually create one piece of eu matter so if you think about that we're actually using uranium down here and i can't remember if i actually upgraded our uranium output yet or not but eventually i'm looking to um upgrade the amount of uranium i actually put in our um reactor at the same time therefore we will be able to produce more eu per tick as well as some more awesome stuff so let's see what are we holy crap we're actually getting our energy from our solar panels what the heck why did i do that all right apparently we are actually getting energy from our solar panels what the heck was i thinking when i did that um why did i do that exactly Alright, so it's a good thing our mass fabs can actually receive our crap. It can actually receive the um, energy from a MFSU, but the problem is here that we're going to have to link our, you know what, none of this should interfere. So what we should be able to do is just take this wire right here, and you know what, let's go boom, and whoa, whoa, crap, I just thought about something. Um, hold up, let me go ahead and go check upstairs and make sure... Let's see, this is actually receiving from... Oh, crap! This side is actually only outputting to the mass fabs, and this side is outputting to that and that. But as you can see, there's not actually a dot on this side, which means we aren't actually receiving energy going up to there with our mass fab. So that means... Or not mass fab, but MFSU. So that means our energy is actually all coming from these right up here. So, this is actually about 30 EU per tick, or it's actually something like that. So, that means we're still receiving low voltage on our, um, we're still only receiving low voltage on our recycler. So, that means if I would have placed a wire here and a wire here, we would have blown up everything we had. 
So, um, it is a great thing that I actually caught that, and, um, yeah, so that is great, but actually what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to steal some of this stuff. Actually, we can't actually, why did I say actually like five times? We can't steal anything from over here, we're just gonna have to make it ourselves. So, what we need is a low voltage transformer as well as a medium voltage, so let's see how much those are. So let's say low voltage, you know what, let's just go ahead and say low voltage, no, let's say V. And we should be able to find those two. They should be somewhere near each other. And let's see. I do not see anything. We actually have the... I want to get some MFFS stuff done before the series is over, by the way, guys. So I plan on doing that. Let's go ahead and make a medium voltage transformer, which is easy. Let's see. Two times gold insulated gold, or gold wires. So we should have no issue requesting one of those. Let's go ahead and grab out our stuff so that we can do that real quick. Let's go... You know what, let's just do it here, and we should be able to grab our, I think it's actually four that it gives you, so let's go ahead and try four. It's only one piece of gold, so it's no big deal, but also we are going to need a machine block, so let's go ahead and request that. I believe that's um, just a bunch of refined iron, so we should be able to do that. Um, the only problem is we might not have all of the refined iron that we need, but let's go ahead and try it out anyway. Let's say one, and oh crap, we actually have everything we need, so let's go ahead and grab some of our... Gold insulated wiring. Let's go ahead and grab two of these. Is that actually a provider pipe? I'm a genius. I actually put a provider pipe down here. I forgot that I actually did that, but I'm happy that I did because that means... Why did we just get two of those? Oh, because there was a clog in the system. That means everything that's actually in here will actually provide to itself. So that is actually rather smart of a move that I did. I didn't believe I actually did that, but I suppose I did. Let's go ahead and place our machine block here and stop pondering upon my stupidity that is somehow smart. Let's see, medium voltage, um, why, oh, that's only one times insulated. To get it two times insulated, we're going to have to do, let's see, insulated gold cabling and machine block. Let's see, to do this, we're going to need more rubber somehow. And let's see, how do you actually make this? Yeah, it's just a piece of rubber, so let's request two pieces of rubber, and we should have no issues doing that. I thought I had two times, oh, two times insulated is right there. So we should just be able to do it like that, and you know what? No, we can't. Let's go ahead and go boom, and crap. Do we have any rubber anywhere? Let's see. Rubber, rubber, rubber. Oh, yes, we definitely have some rubber. Let's go ahead and request two pieces of rubber, and we should have no overflow due to this, even though we do have only two in that chest, but that'll sort itself out eventually, I am sure. We do not want that wheat. Why would I even click on that? Let's go ahead and place our stupidity... Um, Let's see, where the heck did, did copper or gold wiring just go? Ah, I keep pressing all the wrong buttons. Let's go ahead and place our pneumatic tubes in there and grab two of our insulated gold wires. And let's see, let's go boom. And we should be able to do it down here with no issue. Now all we have to do is place our machine block here and boom, boom. Now we have our medium voltage transformer. And you guys can hear the dubstep birds in the background, I'm assuming. I think you guys can. Let's go ahead and grab three pieces of copper and two copper cables with some wood and we have seven wood down here which is actually two more than we need so let's go ahead and go um one uh oh one two and we have the enough copper cables to actually do it so all we need now i believe is some copper which we only have a little bit of copper i wish we could like melt those copper chests down or something real quick let's just go ahead and request one piece of copper real quick even though i did just throw that i do realize let's go ahead and grab some copper Let's see, the supply of copper should be somewhere near. I don't exactly know where it is. It's right here. Let's go ahead and grab that one piece of copper, and shortly we should now have enough of our items in order for us to convert our high-voltage energy into low-voltage energy, and that MFSU should be able to fill up with the energy that has been buffered between these two MFSUs. Now, I believe downstairs our energy is continuing to buffer, and as I said, I don't exactly remember if I beefed up our uranium input um, yet or not, but I'm assuming that I might have. I don't exactly remember. Let's see, where is our... Something just happened to the copper that I had in my hand, so let's just go ahead and grab some more of that. Actually, you know what? Let's not be lazy. Let's go upstairs. Yeah, I know I'm wasting a little bit of time this episode just trying to get these energy collectors produced, but it is going to be a continuous flow of energy collectors that will be produced, and I believe the flow has actually already started, so that's awesome. But, indeed, we do need some more copper, and what the crap happened here? All of our copper is all messed up. Let's go ahead and go one, two, three, and I'm going to try to hurry up so that we can get started with our other production of some of our solar panels. So, in case you guys are wondering what our entire goal is here, you know what? We might only need one, because I think wood goes, or goes all the way across the top. 
and then one two and that is not the recipe oh crap we didn't actually need that one i thought we needed five wood instead of four that's why i was a little bit confused but let's go ahead and take these two and this should actually allow us to power everything over there once we have everything set up and we are not actually leeching off of that house so crap let's go ahead and fly out of here and you know what we don't actually have to fly out of here because all we have to do is put on our ring and fly on over to here so as you can see our scrap is actually still piling up even though we are about to make an energy change and that is about to stop for about two seconds you know what actually it might not stop because i believe recyclers will actually buffer energy for a little bit of time before they will um stop working so let's go ahead and break this cable and this cable so now all we have to do is yeah as you can hear they are actually starving um, currently, but all we have to do is grab our wrench out real quick, and we should be able to shift click right there. You know what? Instead of shift clicking right there, I shift clicked on the wrong side. Let's go ahead and shift click on this one, and boom. So now we just have to double shift click on this one, and we should be able to grab it back up, which we were able to, which is awesome. And we should be able to go, um, boom like that, and now everything should be functioning properly now as you can see we have all of our energy back and it is still a low voltage current so in case you guys are wondering what i just did i'm making it where everything from here will um shortly be coming from an mfsu will be able to go from a high voltage into a medium voltage down to a low voltage that will be able to be consumed by our recycler so the reason i want to kick this up to a high voltage line is so that we can actually use um the energy from this mfsu because as you can see we're actually only pulling directly from our solar panels which means at times we are not actually getting energy which is kind of stupid and as a proof of concept let's go ahead and do it let's go boom and boom so as you can see no explosions which is great and i think i just said explosions but i have no idea so there we go. As you can see, we should begin to rack up some energy. Um, let's see. Are we doing anything with that energy? Um, I'm pretty sure we are actually using that energy, but the problem... <laughs> the problem is we're actually using it faster than we produce it. So eventually, this should begin to rack up. And sorry about my voice, like, going out there for two seconds. I'm like, uh, what? All right, so let's see. Anything else we can actually get going this episode? I'm thinking, since we do have like 8 minutes left, what we're going to do is go check on our energy collectors, and we should have actually almost made one by now, because I have been working on this like an idiot for a very long time. Let's see how much... Yeah, so we have already, as you can see, we've made about 6... Um, let's see, actually, it might have been more than that, 6, 5, um... Yeah, I think it's actually more than that. So as you can see, let's go ahead and place our 3 UU that we have in our inventory. And as you will see, we will actually gain 12,000. Actually, we've already made 10,000 EU or 12,000 EU. So that's actually 11 loops of UU matter. So 11 times, let's see, is this 5? How much is that? That is 1, 2, 3. So that's 6. 11 times 6. That's 66 UU matter that we have produced within the episode. And we've only been recording for what? This has been, I don't know how much time this has been. So I recorded for, yeah, I don't even want to think about it. But anyways, we have somewhat amount of time left. I don't exactly know what it is. But as you can see, everything is working, and we are continuously producing UU matter. But as I said, I want to ramp up the amount of UU matter that we produce by creating two more of our mass fabs. So the way we're going to do that is actually going to be kind of a cheap way to do it. And the way to do that is go ahead and pull some more from what we were actually using for the... Um, MFSU production. Let's go ahead and go grab two Lapatron crystals out of this one right there, and we should be able to go boom and boom, boom. So now we have two Lapatron crystals, and all we have to do is make our mass fab, which I believe is two, yes, it's two machine blocks, two advanced circuits, and eight of our, um, oh, actually, we're going to need, yeah, it's only eight. All right, so what we're going to do is request eight glowstone, and if I can get out of Swift Wolf's Renegale, let's go ahead and request eight glowstone, and that's going to be in supply. Um, let's go eight, and we're going to need four machine blocks, or advanced machine blocks, actually. It's going to be a little bit expensive. Let's go ahead and grab four of these as well. All right, so sorry about that. Let's go ahead and grab four of these as well, and we are missing lapis, and if we're missing lapis for that, we will definitely be missing lapis for our... Um, whatever else we were trying to make. What were we trying to make? Let's see, where are the diamonds? Alright, so there's that, and... Oh, I know where all the diamonds were. Let's go ahead and fill this up with some EU, and actually, no, let's not do that. Let's go ahead and grab everything that we can out of this. So let's go 
ahead and grab our diamonds back. So now we have our 40 diamonds. And, and now I can actually show you guys what I'm planning on doing. So let's go ahead and run over here. And all these diamonds are going to be dumped into this. So now we should be able to make, how many is this? That is two of our Mark II energy collectors. So the plan is that everything that is going to be produced with this is going to be glowstone. So the glowstone, eight pieces of glowstone, um, exactly is going to be pumped into here. And we will make 12,000 EMC. So the way we can actually do this is because that one piece of UU Matter is actually worth 2048 when you put it into Glowstone. If you use it in any other recipe, it's going to be worth less than that. So I recommend if you plan on making diamonds with your Glowstone, here is what I recommend you do. You convert it over using an automatic crafting table into Glowstone, and you pump it out with the Redstone Engine, obviously, and then you pump it into an Energy Condenser. And from there, go ahead and produce diamonds or whatever you want with it. And if you produce diamonds, you're actually gaining 4000 EMC over actually making... Um, diamonds using your UU Matter. So I would recommend making glowstone instead of diamonds with your UU Matter. Now it kind of sounds crazy because who uses glowstone? Well, this indeed is the greatest way for you to produce EE with your UU Matter. So yeah, and actually we're going to be using it to produce UU Matter, or not UU Matter, but EU. So that's going to be awesome. But for now, here is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and place our um, Mark II thingies right here so now we are actually producing these things pretty quick and eventually what we'll be able to do is ramp this up to mark some mark threes and that's just going to be awesome as you can see we're about to gain 12,000 emc as you can see so we should have about 22,000 so as you can see we have 22,000 emc now i have no idea how many times i just said we're about to have and a few other words but yeah i'm pretty sure i said it a ton of times if you guys can go count that go let me know because i'm sure it was a ton but yeah, that is pretty cool that we can do that. And I'm thinking we're just going to go ahead and place some more of our glowstone on top so that this is now full and we are getting the maximum amount of EE produced through that. Or EMC, however you like to look at it. I always call it EE because it is the name of the mod. Alright, so now what do we need? I believe what we needed was some lapis as well as, I'm thinking we're going to need about 12 lapis for this to grab two more mass fabs because we already do have some lapis. But what we're going to do is just grab some of this lapis out, and we should be able to just chunk it into here. Why did those get sorted into here? That is a tad bit strange. Whatever. So there we go. Now we have 23 lapis, and I didn't actually want to continue making lapis with this. But you know what? Let's just go ahead and tell it to make glowstone. We can convert it over to diamonds later. It doesn't really matter all that much. It's all right. And I really like glowstone now for some reason. Let's see. Why did I just put the glowstone in there? I meant to put the lapis in there. What did I do? There we go. Normally I just lose items, but this today we are not losing any items. Hopefully, um, we're pro we probably already lost some sometime this episode, but we do have two minutes left. So I would like to go ahead and grab those two. Um, actually, we're going to need two more of these as well, and we are going to need four of our advanced machine blocks. So we are missing carbon plates as well as advanced alloy, but I believe we actually somewhere have some coal. So I'm thinking what we can do is just send our coal dust... Oh, crap, we have a ton of coal. Let's see, coal and some more coal. That should be enough for eight carbon plates, I think. I'm not exactly sure. Let's go ahead and split this up among these. Let's go ahead and take that, and we should be able to speed this up rather quickly by placing it in there, splitting it, and placing some into here, and then placing some into here. I really need to, what I need to do is have it mark two modules into here, and then have a filter along the line, say like right here, or maybe actually right here. And then have it filter, what the heck, why do we just have iron dust? And then have the filter filter it into something that the redstone pipe will recognize. Or not the redstone pipe, but ELO's pipes, what are they called? Uh, pneumatic tubes. And we will be able to use those for us to sort it among these industrial, or not industrial, but the induction furnaces. So that is the plan for sometime, maybe next episode, or sometime soon, because I do want to beat um, Frodo2381 in his EU production challenge that I did actually propose to him, but we're going to call it our little EU production challenge, so yeah. But anyways... Um, Frodo, you need to go ahead and get started on this because I would like to end the challenge sometime soon. Not really soon, but really sometime soon, if that makes any sense at all. But, yeah, so, and guys, if you haven't actually gotten on the server and played, um, I recommend you do that because I have Frodo, I have myself, and I have a few other YouTubers. I have Warhawk on there. 
Um, he's a very um, new YouTuber. Um, I'll put it like that. Yeah, he just started YouTube, but yeah, go ahead and go check out Frodo2381's channel. Just go ahead and type it in in the search bar on YouTube. You should be able to find him. And Warhawk, I will actually include a link for both of those guys in the description down below. But if you guys enjoy what I do, please do hit the subscribe button. It means a lot to me. We're at 140 subscribers currently. And just a bunch of you guys. I'd like to get all of you on the ser er, server. So, yeah, that is awesome. I think we've had about 15 people on the server so far. So, if you guys do like playing with um, some friends, go ahead and join the server. And I will actually post on the PG Mington Twitter um, when the server is up. So, go ahead and go follow the PG Mington Twitter if you guys have not already. So, yeah, I think that's about all. If you do like what I do, please do subscribe, and please do also hit the like button. It means a lot to me. And, yeah, I think that's about it. So let's go ahead and wrap it up. This has been PG Mining 10, and I will see you guys next time. So peace.